Hi guys, today I have a MAC and Sephora haul. I went away this weekend for my birthday to Halifax. It's just about an hour flight away, but big bonus is that they have a MAC and a Sephora. So mostly I do all of my kind of makeup shopping for those items online. So it's so exciting to be able to go into the store, touch, feel, and I have the actual bags for my thumbnail, because normally I'm just holding up items, but if everybody else that makes YouTube videos has a Sephora or a MAC near them, so I might actually hold on to these bags just for pictures, for thumbnails. Um, but anyways, irrelevant, let me get it into and uh, show you everything that I got from MAC and Sephora. So I will start with MAC items. I only got two things. I actually, back to MAC, uh, to, for two lipsticks for a friend and then got like three other lipsticks for another friend because, like I said, there's no MAC or Sephora in the area. So I was kind of contracted out to pick up a bunch of stuff for a bunch of other people. But for myself... I picked up a uh, MAC Raisin, which is a matte blush. It is like, um, I don't know, it's gorgeous. It's kind of like a deep terracotta color, and it's matte. I picked this up because A Love Tarte. If you're not familiar with her, check her out. But she does the best, like, face of the days. And she uses this as an eyeshadow as well. So I've got it in the crease of my eye today as well as just underneath, and I'm wearing it as a blush. It is a little bit scary, um, but if you use like a, a fluffy brush with it, it is really, really nice. And I think I'm going to be mostly using it as an eyeshadow. And then I picked up another uh, MAC Studio Fix powder in NC43. I've got a whole powder foundation routine on this that I'll link down below, um, but it is my favorite powder foundation, and I had to pick up a new one because I'm almost out of mine. Then onto Sephora, that is where I did the majority of my... Uh, shopping will say the first thing I picked up I wasn't uh, I had kind of a list going of all the things I wanted this wasn't on the list but it was in the front of the store it is the Bosha Konjac cleansing sponge with bamboo charcoal a poor perfecting sponge for combination to oily skin types so it was only 19 bucks so I figured I would try it and it says you can keep it for like two to three months and you use it with your cleanser uh, so it's just a little sponge it's hard um, but then you wet it put your cleanser on it and wash your face with it. So I'll probably do a whole review on this after I've used it for a little bit because my skin has just been really annoying lately. Uh, so I picked this up and then I got another one of my favorite lip liners. I had uh, 3C in the Makeup Forever Waterproof Lip Liners in my Best of Beauty 2014. This one is in 14C. I'm wearing it now actually and it's just a little bit more pinky. 3C that I own is very kind of brownie nude, and this is kind of a more pink color. I do have something on over this, but it's pretty sheer. Uh, so this is a pretty true color, and these are amazing. They stay on. I wore them when we went out in Halifax, and we were kind of like out at the clubs. and went to like a restaurant after, and um, it didn't move. So I love these pencils, and they come in a big variety of colors. So far, I only have two, but I think I'll be picking up more. Then, oh, I got a 100-point perk. None of them were very exciting to me, but I did want to try this. It is the uh, Subaki Cleansing Oil Gel from Bosha, and it's a nice size for an oil cleanser, so I feel like it'll last me a little while. Uh, so I'm excited to try this out. Uh, then I got the Locket Tattoo Foundation from Kat Von D. I've been eyeing this for a while, uh, and I'll do an Oily Skin Diaries video on this. I did wear this uh, one night out, and I got it in the shade Medium 62. So far, so good. Uh, it can tend to cake up a little bit, it seems like, if you wear a lot of it. But uh, I'm excited to wear this super full coverage. Then I got the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been eyeing this forever. Um, and I'm wearing it today. And it is in the shade Medium to Ginger. It is a good bit lighter than my skin tone. Um, but I use it for kind of lightening up my under eyes. And I've used it like two or three three times now and I'm super impressed really really loving it and I was actually going to pick up the NARS sheer matte foundation um, but the colors were so orange and they're getting rid of it apparently because um, NARS has that new foundation out but that new foundation is luminous so I don't know they're kind of leaving out us oily skin gals then I got the Anastasia um, eyebrow brush even though I've been like raving about my elf dollar spoolie I was like, why don't I go pick up a $23 eyebrow brush as well? Uh, but it's dual-ended, so it's got a little tiny spoolie on it here, which looks similar to the one that's on the Brow Wiz. Really, really nice and uh, kind of dense and hard, so it'll kind of get in your brows there. And then a duo fiber angled brush. So I'm excited to try this with the pomade and see how it works out. But then again, I'm kind of afraid to get the pomade in, my, in the brush and ruin it. So interested to try that out. 
And the last item was the birthday gift. It was my birthday, like I said, last week. So I was really excited to try this. And you get two NARS uh, lip pencils. The first one here is Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Recugian, which seems like, I have no idea what it is, but it seems like it could be like a town in Iceland or something, I have no idea. That's the color there, and I'm wearing it over the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil now. It is pretty sheer, and without anything, like I just put it on yesterday with nothing on my lips, and it didn't do a whole lot for my lips, it's pretty much the same color, um, but it is really, really pretty. The standout for me is NARS Cruella, which is the matte velvet lip pencil, and this is gorgeous. I wore it yesterday, super long lasting. I wouldn't say like transfer proof and doesn't come off at all, um, but I was like eating, drinking, and it stayed on really nicely. Didn't get patchy or weird or like leave that like kind of line around your lips. So really, really love this. I'm pretty sure Emily Clark has spoken about this a bunch. It's her new favorite red. Uh, if you don't follow her, she's Canadian. She's awesome. Um, but I'm really, really happy with this. So it's a nice little uh, nice little birthday gift. I don't even think I've really used my Makeup Forever one from, from last year. Uh, so that's everything I picked up from Sephora and MAC. As well, if you live in Newfoundland and you haven't already heard, we are getting a Sephora in the next couple of months. And I was talking to a guy at MAC in Halifax, and he said that he's trying to get a MAC here as well. They were trying to get it here before Sephora happened. So... We're coming up in the world. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't entered my giveaway, I will link to that down below. You just need to be a subscriber, but you can go check out the video there. And thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. It's at Samantha Jane YT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all of my best in beauty in a face of the day so you can see it in action. But